Hi, this is Dr. Dave Allenby from Focus Laser Vision in London, England. We're going to be talking today about why people need glasses to see clearly. Why do some people need glasses and some people don't? If you want to get more information about this, you can also visit our website at focusclinics.com or you can visit my blog at lasik-truth.com. Okay, let's get into the details. Why can't you see clearly? Or why can some people see clearly and others can't? Well, there are four reasons why people might need to wear glasses. The first is short sight, which is also known as myopia, typically begins in the teens and, get, and progresses through to the early 20s. Another condition is long sight or far sight, also known as hyperopia, typically beginning a bit later in life, perhaps in the 30s and then getting uh, progressively worse. Another common condition we call astigmatism that can exist together with short sight or long sight. And finally, presbyopia. This is an age-related loss of reading vision, and that's the most common cause for people to wear glasses, affecting about, in the UK alone, about 20 million people. Let's begin by understanding the normal eye. Let's look a quickly at the anatomy. Here you've got an eyeball. At the front of the eye is a clear curved window. That's called a cornea. Behind that you can see the iris. In this case it's blue with a pupil in the center. Behind that, uh, not visible in this picture, is a lens that is responsible for the close like zooming viewing of the eye. And then you've got a little window to look inside the eye and that red layer inside is what we call the retina. That's the light sensitive layer inside the eye that detects light and it's like uh, the film inside a camera. Now in this situation you can see a stop sign. The light is coming from that passing through the cornea and the lens at the front of the eye and uh, through the pupil and coming to a nice crisp focus on the back of the eye. Now. The effect of that is obviously clear vision. There are no glasses in this situation. Nice clear image on the back of the eye. So, normal situation. Let's see how that compares with the condition of short sight. Now, let's look at the eyeball here. Here's the same eye, but now we've got some short sightedness. The image, instead of being crisply focused on the retina at the back of the eye, is now falling short. It's in front of the retina and as the light continues on to strike that red layer at the back of the eye it ends up as a blurry image so there's a blurry stop sign there now this is caused typically by the eyeball itself being too long or too big or the cornea that's again the curved window at the front of the eye being too curved or too powerful the effect of that is distance vision is blurry so vision for television, driving, uh, sports, not clear, but the close vision is very good. Let's move on now and look at long sightedness. As I said, this occurs a little bit later, often appearing uh, in the 30s or around the age of 40 with a drop in uh, near vision. Now, let's have a look at the light. This is quite different. Now the light is focused too long so there's not enough focusing power inside the eye and as the light uh, touches the retina inside the eye again it's blurry to the same degree as we saw before but for a different reason now there's not enough power to bring those light rays together into a sharp focus the effect of that is often the distance vision is pretty clear but the near vision is blurry so the closer things come the more blurry they get unlike short sight where the closer things come the better they get so in this situation people find the near vision fails first but also gradually as people age even the distance vision can become blurry as well. In this problem the eyeball is too small or too short or the cornea is, is not curved enough and doesn't have enough power to focus those light rays together. Now there's another condition called astigmatism and this often occurs together with short sight or long sight but it can occur on its own. In this situation the problem is typically caused by the cornea and again that's the clear window you can see at the front. Now the cornea often is round but in astigmatism it's a bit more like a rugby ball than a football or imagine the back of a spoon so the curves in each direction are different. One is more curved and the other, another has got a smoother curve. The effect of that is light rays coming through 
uh, perhaps vertically and horizontally, are not focused the same way because the, cur the curvature is not the same in each direction. So you get more than one focus at the back of the eye and this gives you in effect distortion. So wherever you look, whether it's far away or near to, the light rays don't come together at one point and astigmatism literally means without a point. A means without and stigma means point. So wherever you look there is distortion. It can be found on its own but usually together with short sight or long sight. Now the most common condition for people to wear glasses is presbyopia, uh, literally meaning aging eyes. Now in this situation, again, like long-sightedness, it's a loss of close vision. But it's not to do with the anatomy of the eye, it's to do with the lens inside the eye getting stiffer and stiffer. You know, when you're young, the lens is very flexible, but as you get older, the lens gets stiffer. And by around the age of 45, it doesn't have enough focusing power to maintain that zoom in on near objects. So people have to start holding things further and further away as they look at uh, print or text. And eventually the arms aren't long enough and you need to put on a pair of granny glasses or uh, reading glasses to be kinder. This is a progressive problem, so the lens gets stiffer and stiffer uh, up to about the age of 60 or 65 when things level off and that's about as bad as it's going to get. If the distance vision is good, so there's no coexisting short sight or long sight or astigmatism, then distance is good and it's just glasses going on and off for reading. If there's another vision problem in focusing, then um, people might need two pairs of glasses, one for driving and one for reading, for example, or they wear varifocals, which have got a progressively changing power as you go down the lens, distance vision through the top, and reading power towards the bottom of the lens. If we look at what's going on here inside the eye, it looks like long-sightedness, but this is now, we're talking about near objects, so looking at a mobile phone or some print, not enough focusing power, the image is focused too long, and again, the image on the retina is blurry, so print becomes progressively more blurry, and this can come on pretty quickly, you know, it's around the age of 45, 46, so on go the reading glasses. What can you do about this? I mean, there must be options for getting rid of the glasses. Well, everyone's heard about laser vision correction or LASIK. Now, we offer at Focus an advanced wavefront laser eye treatment, uh, a very sophisticated treatment from about £295 per eye, uh, again, depending on your prescription. Results of laser treatment are now extremely good. The lasers are very, very accurate. We can also offer a reading vision correction now as well as distance vision using our special custom optics treatment. And if you want to find out more about that, just give us a call or visit the website at focusclinics.com. So thank you very much for listening to this presentation and watching the slides here. 0845 5500 in the UK for more information or as I said focusclinics.com and there's a wealth of information on there. You can also visit my blog site at lasik-truth.com. Thanks very much for listening and see you again soon.